Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking news from Judicial Watch about Tucker Carlson. Judicial Watch releases police report on attack on Tucker Carlson's home, suspected hate crime. Washington D.C. Judicial Watch today released a police incident report from the November 2018 attack on the home of Fox News host Tucker Carlson by the Antifa-linked group Smash Racism DC. Judicial Watch obtained the Metropolitan Police Department incident report in response to a Freedom of Information Act FOIA, request. According to the Washington Metropolitan Police Department report, on the listed date, Susie Carlson heard loud banging and pounding on her front door. Susie Carlson went to investigate and saw a large group in front of her home. They had a bullhorn and were chanting loudly. She retreated to a room in the rear of her home and summoned police. MPD arrived on scene and found a group of approximately 20 people. It was discovered that unknown person spray-painted an anarchy symbol on the driveway. There were also signs left on the vehicles parked in the driveway as well as a sign left on the front door of the home. The signs made reference to, Tucker Carlson's, political affiliation. The report classifies the incident as suspected hate crime with the hate bias slash motivation being anti-political. Also, the report says that six handwritten posters were seized as evidence. A handwritten note included with the report says that the suspected group is Smash Racism DC. Tucker Carlson told the Washington Post that the mob had blocked off both ends of his street and carried signs that listed his home address. Tucker Carlson, we are outside your home, one person could be heard saying in the since deleted video. The person, using a bullhorn, accused Carlson of promoting hate and an ideology that has led to thousands of people dying. We want you to know, we know where you sleep at night, the person concluded, before leading the group to chant, Tucker Carlson, we will fight. We know where you sleep at night. Carlson said the protesters had blocked off both ends of his street and carried signs that listed his home address. The group called Carlson a racist scumbag and demanded that he leave town, according to posts on Twitter. A woman was also overheard in one of the deleted videos saying she wanted to bring a pipe bomb to his house, he said. Tucker Carlson wasn't merely targeted by protesters, as some media reported. His family was terrorized by a mob of 20 people who vandalized his property, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton said. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.